not real, man. This is not real. When did you? Okay, tell me when did you want to be a girl? Listen, when? When? I'm when? I'm a fucking been... girl. This Stop been... playing with me. Stop playing with my emotions. I'm not joking anymore. Yo, what's poppin', what's crackin', it's your girl on the vans, you're now watching BNG TV. This is Hot Topics, I know. Good day, Philips. Good day or good day? Good day, Philips. Good day, Philips. Good day, Philip. Good day, Philip. Yeah. I can't even. Your name's gonna be confusing, though. Where did that name come from? Um, okay. To be fully open and honest, yeah. when I was a teenager, yeah. I used to do road, yeah? I swear. Do you know what that means? Of course I know what that means. I'm a, I'm a posh boy. You no. on ends, innit? You was doing bits on ends, innit? No, no, not like that. Oh, <laughs> I actually. used to do road, five finger discount, do road. Well, who didn't? And <laughs> obviously, when you're in like shopping malls and stuff, you don't want people to know your real name. Mm. So if your mate is on the other side of the, on the other side of the, um, the shop, the other side of the shop, yeah. you need a name. So yeah. instead of them calling me my real mm. name, they gave me the name Philip. But then the gutty part came when um, I would go out yeah. and I would be dancing. <laughs> I'd be dancing, like I'd be doing Harlem Shake, I'd be doing Gully Creeper, and my friends would be like, pop my collar and be like, go ahead, feel it, hey, go ahead, feel it. And then that's how it started. And then I stuck with it. Because before um, Gully Feel It, I actually used to call myself the popular one. Yeah. It was a bit weird. But Gully Feel It was more catchy, it was more memorable. So yeah. I stuck with that. And it also so, represented where I come from as well. Philip's not even a part of your name then, just no, random name. My, name at all. my real name is actually Daniel, oh, believe it or not. Standard, yeah. average name, but <laughs> yeah, Gary Philip slaps. So Gary Philip slaps on social media, trust me. Okay, cool. So for the people that don't know who you are, um, talk to us about who is Gary Philip. What, what do you do? What do you represent? Um, Gary Philip, I am, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm everywhere. I don't feel like I have a set thing that I do, mm. but um, I study graphic design. So my main source of income, I do freelance graphic design. Okay. So um, I've worked with a lot of like beauty guru influencers, people that want to like um, brighten up their YouTube channels yeah. and how to do all that stuff. So I've worked with people in that area and then now YouTube and then Anything else that's so anyone that you've worked with that you might know? Um, <laughs> there's the Plastic Boy, Sally's World, Danny Doritas, Vinti, Vinti Nelly. Mm. There's there's loads of like B, Miss R Fabulous. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, but there's a lot of like influencers that have done bits and pieces. Yeah. More. But yeah. So how did YouTube start then? Was, um, it, was it like a your boy at home, you start filming yourself? Um, well my actual YouTube account, I've had it I've had it for like three years. Yeah. When I was in high school, yeah. I did a video of me singing um Chris Brown Take You Down, yeah. And then three years ago I found that video and I was like, oh my god, this video is still on YouTube. And I deleted it quickly and I made a new account and I said, I actually wanna like do YouTube, but yeah. can you see? Yeah, I can. So why did you leave it? Because the quality... <laughs> I had no, the, you say that, yeah. I was on YouTube yesterday and three years ago, there was a video of, like, it's like a compilation of you doing intros and that. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. quality of this is whack as well, so... No, but obviously that, that, those videos show my personality. Yeah. So that is the main, that's the main content of the, of the video. Yeah. So I wasn't really fussed about the quality. It was more for you to see, like, my funny side because yeah. in the beginning I was more reserved when it came to being humorous, being charismatic. Like but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did that video and then I was like, I wanna try I wanna try and do this YouTube thing. I already had a decent amount of followers on Instagram, but it's difficult to transfer your following to subscribers. To, yeah. yeah. So those videos weren't really working, so I went on to doing, um, I think I did, I did a story time about me losing my virginity, and I also did a burning my face bleaching video, Ooh. and Ooh. they didn't, the videos at the time, the, the videos didn't bang, like, yeah. they weren't like, they, they got less than a thousand views, but yeah. it got a good amount 
in the time frame that I was in the time frame that I released it, but yeah. then it died out and I stopped. Then I had the help of my bestie, Mr. Fabulous. Would you say sometimes you might over exaggerate certain stories just to make no. it sound better? No. So everything that happens is 100% happening. Everything that I've gone through is 100%. You know, like and I feel like, life sounds a bit mad. <laughs> I feel like, no, I feel like in terms of the only way to engage with your viewers is my facial expression. Yeah. So my facial expression and my mannerisms. And I feel like with anybody that's going on either TV or even TV, YouTube, any kind of platform where you're going to be in front of a camera, I feel like hands, facial expressions yeah. is the best way to, to engage. Interact, yeah. There's no point in lying because in the long run, if if your stories don't match up, then it's just, there's just no point in lying. But the thing is, no, one, no one knows you're lying other than you. No, because there's so many elements to your life. There's so many platforms there's Instagram, there's Snapchat. So you gotta maintain all you, of them. Yes. Imagine you you lie about it's like you're gonna lie about buying trainers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you go on YouTube and say, Oh, I bought these Balenciagas in Selfridges. Now you have to go on Snapchat and be in Selfridges with a bag like there's or show the receipt. Like there's so many elements to keeping up with the truth. Yeah. So it's better to just be truthful and be be honest. Be I don't honest. I don't respect I don't respect people that lie yeah. on YouTube because it always, listen, every lie comes, comes out, out every lie comes out, so it's yeah. better to be honest. So, the, so in two of the videos on YouTube, you, you're quite open. I think you're actually the first person that I've ever seen online that's openly open about bleaching. Okay, yeah. So, talk me through that. What, what enticed you to begin or actually do that for the first time? That's, that's wow. Like, what, what do you think about bleaching? Like, uh, okay, I'll be real. My opinion on bleaching, yeah, like, personally, I believe that if it's your body, your skin, you can do what you want to it. At the same time, God made you that way. Mm -hmm. Also, you have to consider the social implications, especially mm -hmm. when you've got a platform to the younger community, you know what I'm saying? When I first came onto YouTube, mm -hmm. I had to find something that was going to attract viewers. Yeah. So, the first video that I thought, this was the, this this was before I did the collaboration with Renee. Yeah? yeah. So I've gone on you I've gone on YouTube and I've said how I've burned my face. I've got the pictures to show. I've got the pictures. So ble bleaching is a never ending topic. It's yeah. a never ending. Especially like amongst Kirby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you go on YouTube and type in bleaching, listen. Every every video has been successful in terms of views. Yeah. So. I did that video and it didn't do so well in the beginning. The bleach video. Yeah, yeah, it didn't do so well in the beginning because I didn't have a lot of subscribers. Yeah. But when I gained more subscribers, they went back and watched that video. And then That's obviously, right well. and then obviously after that video, I went, I went like months without, with no content. And then I'm back on YouTube again. I'm darker than I was. Mm but my skin is like irritated. Mm. So I've done a video with Renee and in the comments, people are like, what's going on with your skin? Why does your skin look like red? Why has you got marks here, blah, blah, blah. So the only way I was able, the only way I could address that was on my platform. Mm. And obviously I'm trying to gain revenue. I'm trying to gain subscribers. I'm trying to get my view, get my channel shared. So I thought, why not? There's no point in me Going, going on YouTube, people seeing me go from bloody Michael Jackson to Idris Elba without an explanation. Like, so I, just, I, had to, I, I had to explain myself. Okay. So the first video I did was how I do it. And that triggered a lot of people. Because I watched that as well. I was like, wow. The first, I saw that I only, I only talked, no, no, no. Before that video, I did like a questionnaire video. Yeah. I did like a QA and a And I, I touched on it. Like, I just told them what I used. But I didn't do a tutorial. Yeah. That was the first video. And people were like, oh, your skin is grey. Your skin is this, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. The reason why, the, when I started, I didn't start bleaching because and I was bullied, nothing like that. Mm. My mum is a black queen. But my mum's side of the family is all dark skin. My dad's side of the family is brown skin, but yeah. they're all, everybody's proud of their colour. Yeah. There's, I can say no one in my family bleaches, 
So it wasn't like it was taken down from anyone in my family. It was simply, I literally was at my friend's house, and my friend's you. Jamaican, yeah. but I didn't know what the cream was. Yeah. So I'm, I'm the type of person, I'm a get up and go kind of person. Yeah. When I go in the shower, I, I come out and I just put on my clothes. I might get a bit of Vaseline and rub it on my hands and rub it on my face, but I'm not really the type of person to cream my body. But that day, like, my... I don't know what soap I use, but my skin's sensitive in it. So my skin just went really dry and I just, I needed to cream. Mm. I used the cream, yeah? And when I tell you, like spots of my forehead had gone, like the rash on my stomach had gone and I was at my friend's house for like a week. So I was, I started to use it quite regularly. There's no packet on the there's no packet on the thing. I didn't even ask. I wasn't I wasn't even the type of person to ask. I wasn't like inquisitive. I was just eh, eh. so So you started bleaching by accident. You could say that. Yeah. But once I saw the results, I liked it. Because bleaching is extreme, you know. Yeah, it's almost like like when you stop, yeah, you almost look like you have vitiligo. But that's when you once you've gone really black. So, but did you not clock yourself going that line before you, you went don't, that line? Listen, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you you don't actually realise how light you're going until somebody tells you. So your mum and dad, no one clocks like your, your work, like family listen, and friends, no I'm, one clocks. Listen, I want to be rude. Like, my family actually scared of me. I'm a very explosive person, yeah. so they tread lightly with things that they can't. Oh, yeah, you seem calm to me. No, no, no. When it comes to being invasive, like yeah. if you're going to ask me like, something that doesn't concern you or something yeah. that I've done. I, I used to get very defensive. So I would, listen, I've been, book, oh, if I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be able to start modeling. I'm gonna get this job. I'm gonna, listen, yeah. nothing has changed but yeah, here. But the thing is, you never thought that, but don't you think that now your platform is growing, you're, you have more of an influence on younger generation, their kids or stuff. Are you not worried about influencing their, Decisions listen, on bleaching as well. Listen, basically, yo, you are a role If you go into boots, if you go into boots, yeah, and you look at all of the the hydroholic whatever drips that they use, or the fake the night creams, day yeah. creams, all of those have elements of bleaching. So there are beauty gurus, there are influencers that have over the years their skin has Got magically light. gotten lighter or clearer. Or clearer yeah, yeah, yeah. But in your skin getting clearer. It's some. It's some. In some way, parts of your skin does lighten. But the thing is, they don't. They don't openly come out and say yes. No, because they're not. No, because they're not. It, they're not bleaching. Yeah. They're not. It's right. They're not bleaching. Yeah. But they're not bleaching. But if you was to actually look at the um, ingredients that are in some products, yeah. like I went to. I went to an event, a skincare event, mm -hmm. and the woman gave me some drips, and she was like to me only use this once. She was like, only use this once a month. And I was like, what, why? And she was like, when you use this, don't go out in the sun. It's because the product strips your skin to it to an extent. Yeah. It's not drastic, yeah. but it makes changes to your skin. Yeah. So when, obviously, people are gonna get onto me, obviously because I'm black, and obviously because I don't look like how I did Couple five years, years ago, yeah, yeah. but, it is what it is, and I'm. I, so how, 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 how do you deal with that backlash? Just air it. No, because. Because some of it must shoot. Okay. You. Some of it must if, get to you. No, no, no. So you just my worst, my worst critics and my worst criticism has come from my family. Yeah. My family have got onto me about a lot of my lifestyle choices, even down to my dress sense. There was a time where I wore like, you know, when skinny jeans wasn't a thing, mm. like. I bought skinny jeans, yeah? Same, 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 <laughs> same When I same, tell you, same. in the Jamaican community, yeah, before fashion was so big in the Jamaican <laughs> community, bruv, my dad, he didn't, he went, he never made any, like, homophobic remarks, but he'll be like, why are your pants so tight, fuck? Yeah. Like, he'll, like, Go, go lose your pants or go buy a bigger pants or he'll get onto me in a comedic way. To this day, my sister calls me chicken legs. Listen. <laughs> Listen, do what you gotta do in it. I'm not telling people that they should go out there and bleach. I'm just saying, this is what I do right now. Yeah. If all these products were to get wiped out of the earth, I'm gonna have to suck it up mm. and be my brown skin because brown skin or dark skin, bruv, I can get any girl, yeah? So, That's all I've got to say. So I can walk into a room, yeah? 
and shut shit down based off of my personality. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with my looks. I don't. I didn't start getting popping on, on Instagram because of my looks. Yeah. It was because of my well, personality. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Before my videos, it was my personality, yeah. my um, and my dressings. I'm very into that fashion, and I'm very into that being unique. Mm. And that's where that's where the root of me comes from. Yeah. The skin thing is just an additional. Are, are, you, are, are you worried about the the health implications of bleaching? I feel like until it happens, <laughs> until it happens, then that's the same. Until I'm not gonna lie. One time I did actually go to the doctors, and she did say that I was low on vitamin D. Yeah, like it was like I was like sick. Like I, I lost a lot of weight, and it had a lot of it had to do with the products that I was using. So I did take a lose weight. So bit, no, but it, like eating, all of it has. Yeah, yeah it all has aspects into your health. Yeah, and I was just like. Wow, I took a break, and in me taking a break, I got darker, as people saw on YouTube, and basically, right now, I wouldn't say I, I, I wouldn't say I bang out bleaching. The way it comes across, the way I did the video, it actually comes across like I wake up and I'm like, that's a bleach. <laughs> yeah. well, I, I don't, you know, like I have normal shower gels, I have normal, I have normal products that I use, cool. but. On those days where I feel like, raw, my skin's looking a bit shabby or my skin's looking a bit pitchy patchy, I want to go and cool. dip back into my little, my little stash, my little bag, okay. my little man bag. Okay. But, yeah, I just want to say, yeah, For the record. anybody that is bleaching, you're doing it for you. Do you're doing it for you. So right now, I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it because I got bullied. I'm not doing it because I don't like being black. Bro, I'm gonna rep being black. I'm gonna rep Jamaica. I'm gonna yeah. rep Barbados. I'm gonna rep the Caribbean yeah. and Africa. I'm just gonna rep being, being black, black. Period. Yeah. And bleaching is just a blip of what I do. All right. So let's talk about a little situation you had in Westfield the other day. Okay. Go on. What happened? For those of you that know me, I'm doing my YouTube thing. Of course. I'm on my grind. Yeah. Yeah. But this was in the beginning, so I have just gone onto Renee's platform. So my name is buzzing. So it's like, who is this guy to fit? That's what's in the air right now. Yeah. So wherever I go, people are going to say, I know you from that video, yeah. or I recognize you from this particular video, or this, or you hang around this person. Yeah. That is going to happen, and that's what did happen. Yeah. I went to an event, yeah. Mm. And I no, 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 no. I want to tell you the lead up to Westwood. Oh, Before we get to Westwood, like, there's a whole backstory, yeah? yeah no so, I went to an event, yeah? Yeah. And I met the person that I got into this altercation with. Yeah. And in meeting him, yeah, obviously he's a proud gay Jamaican, whatever. He's, he's loud and proud about yeah. his sexuality, yeah. which I am... I'll big him up for that, yeah. 100%. Same, it's Jamaican. Okay, That's yeah. a big thing. So, obviously, he's already got his platform. He's got loads of followers. I'm still growing mine. I'm still getting my name out there. Yeah. I've gone to this event, and he's snapped me in the event. Mm. So, now his followers mm. are now, and my friends are now coming over to me and saying, oh, how do you know this boy or whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But we didn't actually know each other on this particular night. It was, a it was just a snap. Yeah. It was just, that was it. Yeah. Now, for anybody that knows me, I am a supportive person 100%. Even you, if you was trying to start a business, I'll be like to you, yo, I'm a graphic designer. I can help you with this. I can help you with that. That's the type of person I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it for my own personal gain. I'm genuinely that type of person. Mm -hmm. And even... Pay me or not pay me, I would do it yeah. for a little change, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Cool, yeah. Or to build my portfolio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in doing YouTube and graphics, all these type of things, I'm just trying to get my name out there. And that's me being real. Yeah. So when I approached him, I was like to him, Bra, you do YouTube and you have a platform. Mm. If you need help or if you need like an intro video, if you need graphics, I will help you. So that's where the friendship started. 
So we hadn't really spoken too much after that, yeah? Yeah. And then we started hanging out. So obviously in us hanging out now, his followers are coming over to me. His trolls are now my trolls. <laughs> like, all of this, all of this, yeah, <laughs> all of this is happening in such a short amount of time. Yeah. But obviously, you lot have got to remember, I'm 25. He's 17. And oh, man. people, okay, people have judged me and said, bro, why are you hanging around with a 17-year-old? Yeah. Mm. But in the social media world, the age gap. In, in in so many areas of social media, the age gap is huge with a lot of people. Yeah. So I wasn't even thinking, but right, like in the beginning, I wasn't even thinking, right? So I didn't care, like because I wasn't doing anything that that involved age. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't doing anything that could make him get in trouble, me yeah. get in trouble, yeah. like nothing like that. No, it was no simply bit. to help him and help help of course, me. Of course, yeah. So I was building my business with graphics and. We never did any kind of YouTube collab, nothing. It was simply just hanging out. The only things we did was go Westfield, go cinema, yeah. normal stuff. It was nothing, nothing to gain like attention or view, nothing like that, you know? Yeah. Okay. Now, as the marks have gone on, yeah. Mm. Believe it or not, yeah, I'm when I'm at home, I'm a very quiet person. I don't, I don't, I don't go out of my way and do a madness well back then i didn't <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but then in the beginning of this social media journey it, i didn't i didn't do a madness for views and whatever yeah? yeah so when i would see little things that he would do it would annoy me but because i don't know him like that i'm not going to be like to him don't do that yeah, we or, didn't. like yeah. it's not my place to say do your thing you're trying to build your thing i'm trying to build mine in a different way yeah. do you know what i mean so it got to a point where he started to just crave attention, crave, like, he would post pictures of me and um, make it come across like... You were together that way. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, listen, come off of that, basically. But he's 17, though. What do you expect? Man? When I was 17, I wasn't doing that, though. And I still, I had, like, I had, like, 12K followers when I was 17. Well, how many did he have? Well... I think he had, I don't even know. He had a 10 plus, maybe like 13 or 15. Yeah. So he had around the same as me. Yeah. But his but his is more active than mine. Yeah. And he's, his age group is following him as well. Yeah. I've got, when I was 17, I had big people following me. Other, other UK people with the same amount of followers. Not really, they just had loads of followers, if that makes sense. But yeah. they weren't actually doing anything with it. Yeah. Those are the type of followers I had. But when I was 17, I wasn't doing the madness that he was doing. And the thing with the thing with him, yeah, it's like if he was getting paid from it, mm. I can say, all right, cool, a little change is going in your pocket. But there's no point making a video go viral and you're not getting paid from it. Yeah. Like I would respect you if you didn't you tease somebody, mm. you tease them on social media, mm. and then you went on YouTube. Yeah. And posted the video. Yes. Yeah. And then you made money money from Views it. From that but, for you to go out of your way and fake a fight, yeah? Oh, and a fake fight? So, no. So, in the beginning, before the Westfield, yeah. he faked a fight on on Instagram Live. Yeah. Now, obviously, this video is all over social media to this day, yeah? yeah. And, obviously, me and, me and Renee was recording a video. We had no intentions of... His followers coming to us, telling us that he's in a fight. But yeah. because we've been hanging around each other, they just felt like that's what know. that's what people are gonna do. They yeah. want to see our reaction. Mm. But in this time, I've not really been rocking with him. I've not really been speaking to him. Mm. So, but social media doesn't know that, yeah. and I didn't want social media to know that because it's not that deep. Yeah. So he's faked this fight now, but for about a month, me and him haven't spoken. But he's still in our circle, if that makes sense. Mm. So in him faking the fight now, it's gone viral. Me and my friend are recording a video. In us recording a video, we want to amp up the video by being on Instagram Live. So just like how now, I can prop the camera up here and I can say, guys, I'm recording a video. And then you, they're watching and they're laughing with us, but 
what we would normally do is we would cut off the camera and then now people are like, mm, I want to see the video. So then they'll go on to our YouTube. That's how it worked. That's the only way you're going to That's the only way you're gonna trans you're gonna transfer like viewers and get people to just go on and watch your video straight away. Yeah. So that's what we was doing. But in us trying to attract people to come and, and then go and watch our YouTube video, his rubbish is coming up. I've not spoken to you for like over a month. Yeah. And People are coming to me saying, God, look, this is what's happening, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, as like a big brother or as an older person, yeah. it is it is rightly so that I'm going to go and check on him and see what I want. Because okay, yeah. in his story, if you watch his story, he don't really have a foundation. Like He don't really have like a family that supports him. Mm-hmm. He's kind of like out there on his own kind of yeah. thing. So he's got like a friendship group that... Is his foundation basically. Are you still let's call now or you still leave no, 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 I don't even listen. If this, I'm only addressing this now because I have I was actually gonna do like an hour long video about it, but I thought I'm not giving my platform an hour long time. What? <laughs> Wait, so you know you said before that like, he posted like pictures that gave the wrong impression. Yeah. What kind of pictures were they? So basically Because then, you know for a picture to give a public the wrong impression, it's gotta be No no no. So he'll post a selfie of me. Yeah. And be like, oh, the captions. if if God it wasn't single, um, he would be my man. Like all these type of things, but he gets bare views. Yeah. So he gets nearly two hundred thousand views. Yeah. So guaranteed, people are either going to come to me on Snapchat or come to me on Instagram. Yeah. One of the two. Yeah. And obviously, you screenshot a post with my at name in it. So even if people didn't know who I was, mm. then all they need to do is type G U H. And I will come up. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, back to the story now. When the when this whole fight happened, we're recording our video. I actually had to cut my video short to go and check on this guy, yeah. even though I do not speak to him. Mm-hmm. So that for me, that was big of me. Why did check it? Because it wasn't going to stop. It was not going to stop. It's, we had about ten thousand people in the line. Oh. So imagine ten thousand people viewing you. But we weren't reacting, like our reaction, when we, basically, whilst recording, yeah, we was on Instagram Live. So, we're on Instagram Live on Renee's account. So, yeah. she's got 10,000 viewers. Mm-hmm. So, one of his friends has called me and is like, God, don't worry, the fight was fake. But iPhones are loud as hell. So, yeah, the whole, like, so everybody's heard it on the line. So in them saying, yes, in so him bad. saying the fight was fake, yeah. In the, in in him in the guy saying he made himself fake, out. Listen, the only thing that he could do was start a real fight. <laughs> no, start a real fight, but with us. So we're like, raw, like, why would you do this? We're confused. I'm like, why would you do this? Why, why, why? But I'm calmer than Renee. Yeah, are you? She's. I'm calm, no, I'm, I'm, it takes me a while to, to get, get angry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 so I'm calmer than her. Mm-hmm. So obviously her immediate reaction is, what the fuck, man, why are you, Why would you fake a fight? But my reaction is, bruv, I'm trying to push the camera off my face, but there's a third person in the room, yeah? Mm-hmm. This guy starts drag. he's just coming at everyone. He's, he's just being defensive. In your room or their room? No, he's on his account. Yeah. And he's on his own life, but we are still on live. Mm. But because we've already addressed the fight was fake, we it's, there's no point cutting off the camera. Yeah. We're just gonna keep. Why not? Why not just say, "Well, the fight was fake. We're not involved." That's basically what we were saying. Yeah. But we don't have time for this. We're not involved. It's childish. We actually childish. We actually got up. We like actually got up, got ready, booked a taxi to go and check on this guy. No cap. There was no cap when we was booking a cap. To book a cab, to book a cab, you can't be on Instagram live. Yeah. So, do you know what I'm trying to say? So people are like, "Oh, you're doing it. You was doing it to embarrass him." Or none of that was the case. But obviously, in him being defensive and with ten thousand people viewing you, the only thing that you in his eyes, the only thing that he could do was bite back. Yeah. So he started lashing out at me. Started lashing out at Renee. Just he just started lashing out at everyone. Yeah. I was like. Fuck this, bro. I just was like, I ain't got time for this guy. He went on every single platform and ripped me to shreds until Swear. I had to report this guy to the police for harassment. Wow. Like, you don't think it's a joke. Like, social media is not 
Like, you know, I know, I know she's social media. So that is what happened. So then, obviously, I'm quiet now. I'm minding my business. One day, I, one day, me and my friend is just going to Westfield. But obviously, us going to Westfield now is different, is different like, so, than it was six months, yeah, yeah. Or six months ago. Me going to Westfield now, people will record me. Hi, brother. They'll get out of their phones. Like, all those types of things happen now. So on that particular day, obviously, I'm with Renee, someone with a bigger platform than me, mm. and someone that everybody loves. Mm. So people are taking pictures with her. People are like, people want to take pictures. But I'm just a bystander. Mm. When when her fans come, when her fans come out and show her love, I'm, how, I'm, how, I'm, how did that first shit start with you and Renee? I was a graphic designer. So literally, it was a case of business. So and was, then, yeah. yeah. So in the beginning, we literally. Anything that she wanted regarding business, and in the beginning she had a hair business. Mm -hmm. So anything she wanted regarding business, she would come to me and I would design it. But in the beginning, I was doing it for the money. I didn't the think of business. Yeah, I didn't think about building like like making an Instagram or building like having an Instagram page. Yeah. By the, by this time, I was still in uni, yeah. so I wasn't trying to gain like a business following. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I wasn't trying to gain any clients through social media, if that makes sense. So how did it turn from a business relationship to, a, to like a friendship? With the whole stabbing in the foot. That's when we got closer. What well, was you there? The night before. <laughs> um, the night before was the day we recorded our video together. Wait, stabbing in the foot? Wait, 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 wait. So, so we recorded the trial and all, yeah? Yeah. And then the, that night, obviously I'm with the, they're like to me, God, why don't you come out with, why don't you come out with us? I was like, I'm not, I'm not dressed, I don't look appropriate. Yeah. But I had said to them, anytime you don't go out, like invite me. But yeah. obviously this particular day, I had no clothes and obviously I live on the other side of London. Yeah. It was too late for me to go all the way there and then come back out. So yeah. with that whole situation, the incident happened and she literally called me <laughs> while this girl I don't want to go into details, but I wish I could, I wish I screen recorded it. But in the moment, you're not thinking. Yeah. I'm not thinking. I need proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So she's FaceTime me. She's like, she's got blood. Renee's got blood all over her face, all over, all over her legs. That like, and this girl's got a knife in her hand. She's naked in a fucking naked. in her uni lobby. Yeah, she's got no clothes on in her uni lobby, and I'm just like, bro, do you like, do you need me? Do you need me? What can I do? Bro, I booked a taxi from my, from my house, from near Heathrow, and came all the way to East London, Lewisham. The taxi was like £60. And I was like, listen, <laughs> bro, that was a lot of money. But, <laughs> but, but what I will say is, in that, it wasn't, I wasn't trying to beg friend, nothing like that. Case of helping I was out. literally just yeah. trying to help someone that was in need. I was the first person she that, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... I had to big her up because she actually trusted me for me to see her in that state. Do you know what I mean? To help her out of the thing. Yeah. So I was with her in the hospital. I was with, I was with her for the whole for the whole aftermath. Yeah. And we, there was, there's just so many elements into us, our friendship getting closer and tighter. So would you say you're close now then? Listen, that's my bride or dad. That's my sis. That's my dad. <laughs> that is my sis. That is and... A lot of people say, oh, I'm up her ass and oh, I'm like, I'm... listen, bruv, listen, if anybody knows me, I will give you my last rice grain if you need it more than I do. Yeah, that's, you know? that, yeah, 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 that's yeah, the type yeah. of person I am. Yeah. And that's how I've been with all of my friends. But with a lot of the friends that I have had, it's been, a, I've been giving way more than I can. Yeah. But in, I feel like our but, friendship is very balanced okay. in terms of what we can do for one another. I was going to say, because normally when you give more than you can, like you're putting yourself in more harm, harm's way. Yeah, so in my past, a lot of the friends that I had, I gave way more than I should. Yeah. And that's just my helpful nature with the whole graphic design thing, me offering up my services. Like there's a lot of people that I've met and I'll be like, bro, I will do your graphics for you. Even if you have a hundred followers, those a hundred followers, those hundred people are more willing to invest in you than somebody having 50,000. Yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. 
But before we get into this, yeah, I just want to wrap up this whole Westfield thing, yeah? Right. So, I haven't spoken to this boy in months. Mm. The whole life thing happened, he's dragged me, he said what he needed to say. Cool. But why is it that a month has gone on, months has gone on, and you're still going? Like, but is obviously, still going now? Well, not for me, but... Is he, is he still going now? He still goes, like, he still goes. He still goes, even with the PVL thing, but we'll get to that. But, <laughs> but with the whole Westfield thing, yeah, the reason why that happened was because it was almost like, I've just let some little pygmy back me up all over social media and I've done nothing. Mm. And I'm not trying to fight you. I'm a pretty nigga, yeah? Massive pretty. I listen, feel like I've never heard a guy call himself. Listen. I care about my I'm telling you, boy. I care about my face, yeah? Yeah. I care about Same. So I'm not the type of person to fight. Mm. I'm not gonna slap you, I'm not gonna scratch you, mm. but I will pu- I'm the type of person to publicly humiliate you. Yeah. So in me humiliating you while we was in this in Westworld, coincidentally you're in Westworld. At the same time. At the same time. But you like an idiot, you've walk past me and brush past us, but nobody's seen you. You could have walked past us and gone about your business, mm. but you chose to make walk past thing. us, make your presence known, yeah. and then you have the cheek to turn around. So in him turning around, I in this in him turning around, he's gone like down. I bought a milkshake because she was, um, when they was talking to her, her fans, I bought a milkshake, I'm just standing up there waiting for her. He's come back now, and in me turning around, it's like our eyes made four. And my I, like my brain just exploded and I just got the milkshake. Oh, and I just so went, tell you dash in his face. Like, oh. like, and I'm not gonna say I regret doing what I did. All I'm gonna say is I would have preferred to have done it in a different place, not in such so, a public environment. Yeah, but and then also, I, the only reason why I regret it was because a lot of it fell back on my friend that has a bigger platform than me. Yeah, that's what so I'm saying. I wasn't thinking, raw people are going to... See it I mean? and then link her to it. It's yeah. Right people don't, like, people don't... If me and... If me and... Being real, if me and Renee are standing next to each other, people are going to run to her. And rightly so, she's got a bigger platform, she's got a bigger personality, and she's a hot topic and I dig her up for that and I will even shine a fucking light on her because she's the it girl right now and in that is why like the blogs posted it and I was I just was like to her bro I made, even made a public apology and I was like I just want to apologize for dragging her into this but do you not do you, do you not think about do you not think about that in terms of the the, the so no, but obviously hold. sometimes like in that moment I'm not thinking I'm somebody you know people actually come up to me and be like oh you're you're, you're an influencer, and I'm like, I don't recognise myself as that kind of person. I don't recognise myself as... I think what, What's funny to me is, like, obviously, I have no idea who Renee is. I've never met her. Mm-hmm. I've never really... I'm not really one to follow social media influences and that, mm-hmm. but I knew who she was because of the whole Ivory and Doll and Abby Do you know what I mean? Okay. When it happened, I followed that because mm-hmm. it was me. It was funny. You can gossip all over me. You know what I'm saying? So... Don't you feel like the company you keep, you got to watch what happens? No, because remember, I've spoken to this girl on the phone. Mm. I've, I've spoken to her. We've had hour-long conversations on the phone. Mm. It don't take... It, like, social media is only a segment of somebody's life. So, I could... There's a I lot can't, of people though, isn't it? No, but I can't take, I can't take one event and, pick, and make a profile of somebody's personality, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So that whole that whole blow up like that was nothing to me. I have been in the I've been in the same things but off social media. I've been in fights outside Brixton what's that place called? Electric Electric, electric Hall. 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 I've been arrested outside Brixton Electric Hall fighting. I've listen, I've been in brawls, I've had people, like ten people rush me. Listen, I've been in ten times what that little thing was. That was nothing compared to the things that I've been in. I've been arrested for fighting, like, and it had nothing to do with social media. 
and obviously being on social media, going look, watching blogs and all those type of things, there's only so much that you can believe from a story. And I, I, I never ever want to. But the thing is, you're, you're in that industry, so you have to understand that people who are not in that industry, whatever they read or see, that's what they'll believe. Until, until you say otherwise, that's what they'll run with. No, but I don't, I don't believe so. I don't believe so, because when some people see a bad story, some people still want to get to know who's underneath. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. That's why people stick around. See, you say that, like the whole, so it's a little topic, the whole Renee Abigail Agway Girl thing, to me, that was a bad story. But me personally, so I, didn't, I didn't care to look who's this or what are they like, what's the breakfast. I didn't even shit. All I saw was beef. No, but young, younger people. But I'm older than you. <laughs> no, but I'm saying younger viewers that was following that. Yeah. They're going to want to know who this person is. I didn't know. There's people, people. No, but there's people that have been in those situations off camera. So have I. I didn't care. Yeah, but a younger person. I just saw beef. I mean, yes, beef. Yeah, but a younger person, a younger person is going to be like, bro, I've been in something like this. I've been in where a girl's trying to diss me up or take the piss out of me. So I want to see what's going to happen next. Do you get what I mean? But I, I can't lie, because I, I, I'm older than you, and I've not been in this situation. Like a couple months. It's still not up. When I saw that story, I didn't think to to go and do the whole back story of where they're from, what caused the whole... Listen, to me, it was a case of, boom, listen, beef, what's going on? If you type... Listen, I'm, really, I'm giving you like, a blip of my life, yeah? If you type my name in on Twitter, my original at name on Twitter was banned. Like, my account got blocked because every week I was doing something... Like, I was very problematic early on in my years, yeah? Because you're and, No, Twitter job, Twitter job, Twitter job. <laughs> Twitter job. <laughs> listen... My account got blocked because nearly every day I'm effing and blind and I'm cussing out somebody on Twitter mm. because of something that happened in a club or do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I know I know what it's like. So I didn't care. Like I don't I don't care about what happens online. I meet you and if I have a conversation with you, whatever you give me in our initial conversation is what I will take and run with. But sure, but obviously because she's your friend, you must have her back in certain situations that like, that I've worried Dole and Abigail in, you must have had her back in that situation. The whole Michael Wooden thing, you must have had her back in that situation. Listen. Or do you, do you stay out of that? Okay. My view on the whole, my view on that whole fight in the beginning. Which fight? Literally, the, my whole view on the whole Abigail and Dole and Venice, um, Abigail. Abigail situation here, yeah. that was just a friendship gone wrong. But because that would be on her. But obviously they had big platforms. I don't think they realized. I don't think they realized. I, I don't think they either. Because I, I don't think they realized. I, I watched her live. They, they not, that girl. They, in that moment, they may not have realized the um the impact that they would have had. Yeah. But they were doing their own thing. Uh, that that would be on her as well. With the whole Michael Mullen situation, listen. I can't respect you. I can't respect Michael you. Or her. I can't listen. Before social media knew who Michael was, he he's dated some of my friends and the same. Some more than one. Yes, yeah, so I've got a lot of female friends, yeah. and he's dated some of them. I'm not gonna say their names oh, yet. Michael, Michael, you're slacking, but bro. the same shit Michael that slacking. he's publicly announced on um, social media and brags about mm. is the same things that he was doing before social media. So I didn't rate him before he got before he's been doing what he's doing now. And when that all happened, bro, I, listen, <laughs> I was just like, bro, this guy is a waste, man. Yeah. Like, I can't, like, I can't respect, like, you see me, yeah? I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go head to head with a girl on social media. Yeah. I'm not going to do a he said, she said with a yeah. girl it's on not. social media. It's not. I can't respect you. Make sure you not check out my YouTube channel for those of you that do not know who I am. Make sure you subscribe like and comment on this channel and big up rod rants make sure you like purchase my headbands my water one pound water one headbands my pop sockets and pop all... sockets listen support the team even if you're if, even if you're not a bleacher just support my team listen this guy's a guy this guy's a calm guy anyways shout BNG TV, Chibola Vance, Hot Topics. Good day, Phillips. We out. You keep, Peace. You keep adding S. <sighs>